Hello students, uh, welcome to another lecture of this course Industrial Wastewater Treatment and we will continue with our discussion on waste minimization for industries. Okay. So today in this lesson number six, we will discuss about methods of strength reduction for industrial wastewater. We will talk about what is strength reduction, why strength reduction and various methods of strength reduction. So, what is strength reduction? It is nothing but any measures taken which will result in reduction of quantity of polluting matter entering the waste stream. They are termed as strength reduction. Now, why strength reduction? So, benefits of strength reduction, it results in alteration of characteristics of wastewater in such a manner that the degree of treatment required is reduced. You can easily treat the wastewater and because of this, the cost of treatment is reduced and hence there is increase in profit of industry. Now, there are various methods of strength reduction which includes process change, segregation of waste, equipment modification, equalization, proportioning and byproduct recovery. So, let us first begin with process change. Nowadays, we have many advanced new technologies which are also known as cleaner or greener technologies and these technologies when in use produces either low waste or some of the technologies results in no waste. So, this process change can be a very good method for uh, reducing strength. Uh, while selecting process change, we target the most troublesome pollutant from treatment point of view. That is the most toxic or difficult to treat and try to replace with other uh, chemical which is either less toxic or no toxic. Okay. So, uh, the second method here is segregation of waste. Now, we have already studied classification and segregation as method of volume reduction. Here, we are going to refer to this from viewpoint of strength reduction. So, normally the segregation of waste results in two streams of waste. One stream which is strong and small in volume and other one which is weak but with almost the same volume as the original unsegregated waste. Okay. Now, I want you to pause the video and think how the method of segregation of waste you can use for volume reduction as well as strength reduction both. So, you might have thought that segregation results in two stream. There is one stream which is small in volume but it is strong in nature. So, this is the wastewater which requires extensive treatment and here 
we consider it as volume reduction at the same time parallelly there is another stream which is large almost same as the original waste water but it is less polluted it is uh, of such nature which does not require extensive treatment so this is strength reduction hence we can say that you can use segregation of wastewater streams as method of volume reduction as well as method of strength reduction okay the third method is equipment modification now these modifications are not major one but they are small modification sometimes very small changes when made then it results in a considerable reduction in amount of polluting matter entering for example placement of screen over the drains in pickle making industry for cucumber tank vegetable tank now the simple measure will prevent the seeds and pieces of the vegetable entering the waste water hence there is reduction in strength by very simple measure another example is placement of traps in poultry or slaughter house over the drain this results in prevention of feeder and pieces of fat entering the wastewater stream and this reduces the strength of wastewater considerably so small measures results in significant alteration of the characteristics of wastewater so i hope you have understood the measures we discuss for reduction of strength and in the next lecture we will continue with remaining methods of strength reduction okay thank you